Check, check. Hmm. This must be Preston's scarf. I must be on the right trail. I'm a detective. Yay. <laughs>
Do not get fooled, because that pile has nothing. Let's come up here. And up here is one of my favorite points spots. Just because, like, right up here is probably the highest you will ever be. Like, in the game. And it's... Obviously, we're on top of the mountain, but it's just kind of cool. And, like, it's not like you can, like, see everything. But I just really like coming to this exact spot. All right, let's go ahead and dig this up. And we get a television. And Buddy can watch cartoons. Even though I'll probably be watching cartoons with him. Because I watch a lot of cartoons. All right, what does Patrick have to say? Not much happening. Uh-oh. That's not good. All right, well, rest, rest, in, rest in peace, Leaf. Just kidding, he's not dead. Let's head on in. A furnished cave, whoa. This is actually pretty nice. Yeah, this is right, what? Uh, oh. Oh, oh, okay. Um, oh, hey, wasn't expecting company. Come on in, man. Uh, thanks. I'm Matt. Listen, you haven't seen a guy named Preston, have you? Preston? No, I don't know him. Like I said, though, don't get a lot of company up here. Hmm. I don't see anything that suggests Preston was here. Hmm. So where is he? Are we too late? What seems to be the problem there, Matt? Someone's looking for a PW in these mountains, but it's important that I find him first. Uh -huh. Oh yeah? Wonder if they were looking for me. Guess I should introduce myself. Name's Paul. Paul Wisniewski. Seriously? You're a PW? Any idea what a man named Morcubus will want with you? Morcumbus? Now that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. A long time. So you do know him? I think I used to work in his lab. It's fuzzy. I have trouble remembering my life before I was a yeti. You weren't always a yeti? Wait, let's slow down. Tell me what you can remember. I was... I was a lab assistant, way back. I helped do research for Morcumbus. One of our experiments was really important. There was there was a crown. We made a crown. It had a special power that was going to change the world. What happened? <clears throat> there was an accident. The crown didn't do what it was supposed to do. It did terrible things. They called it they they called it the crown of nightmares. Yikes! Where is this crown now? I don't know. There was a fight. They fought about what to do with the crown. Orcubus wanted to keep it, but the others... What others? Who? I can't remember. The crown went away, but Orcubus didn't get it. He was so mad. And something bad happened to our lab, but was it me? Did I do it? It's too hard to remember. I wandered for days. The next thing I know, I'm stumbling into this cave. But it's nice and cozy in here, so I don't mind. I mean, there's got to be worse caves than this, right? Paul, you should really come down to the lodge. Everyone thinks you did something to Preston. The lodge? I don't know, man. Me and public places don't mi really mix so well. It'll be okay. We'll prove you didn't kidnap Preston. And then the agents down there can focus their search in the right places. Oh, well, as long as you have my back, Matt. Heck, I could even help with the search. It can get cold out there. Thanks, Paul. It's starting to get dark already. I'll get a room at the lodge for the night. Come down tomorrow morning and I'll introduce you to everybody. Okay, if you think it'll help. The next morning. Morning, guys. Who wants pancakes? Maybe later, buddy. We should be around when Paul gets here. We wouldn't want anybody to panic. Oh, no! Everybody panic! Uh-oh. Uh-oh is right, buddy, and you were worried about pancakes. Who did this to my lodge? The ski racks, the trash cans, even the hot tub destroyed. Oh wow, look at all this stuff. A Yeti so did all this damage. Yeah, you'd have to be pretty strong to break this stuff. And everyone knows that Yetis get all smashy when they're mad. No, I refuse to believe that. Well, then you should probably listen to this. Who's that guy? Oh, it's Preston. 
I was attacked by a Yeti. Okay, I'm going to redo his voice. It was awful. I barely escaped with my life. <laughs> yeah, I like that voice better. What? Preston? Where was he? Prezi! I found him lying in the snow in front of one of the ranger stations. Oh, oh, Preston, you're back. Oh, Prezi Wezzy, I was so worried. Yeesh. Can we do this later, BB? I'm a little busy right now. I'm trying to give him like a posh English voice, but I don't think it's working well. So anyway, there's a big terrible yeti up in the mountains. He dragged me away yesterday, but I managed to get away when he wasn't looking. Yuck, yuck, yuck. That's... that's... Awesome! Hey, did you happen to get a sample of his fur or saliva? This doesn't make any sense, Matt. Yeah, I didn't see Preston anywhere near Paul's cave yesterday. This lodge is dangerous. You've got a yeti infestation. You should be shut down, yuck, yuck. Hmm, yetis are the noble gentlemen of the north. If you made one mad, it must be because of something you did. Alright, sorry I keep changing his voice, but I need to f figure this out. That beast almost tore me apart. Yeah, I like that one. He should be destroyed. Yeah, he's more whiny than posh. Hey guys, what are we talking about? <laughs> uh, what? He's beautiful. Ew, somebody tase it. Majestic creature, I bring you greetings. We are all your friends. You are welcome here. Yeah, you're under arrest. Hey, Rosalind, come on. I really don't think that's necessary, Agent. Well, I've got the key to the handcuffs right here when you can actually prove that this creature is safe. Please, Matt, you must rescue this beautiful beast. Wait, what just happened? Matt, this is awful. I can't talk to Paul as long as he's in custody. Don't worry, Evelyn. We'll help him. I should interview Preston about his disappearance. I should investigate the damage logic equipment. Okay. Uh, you know how I said uh, earlier that uh, uh, that there, there would be a point where uh, you couldn't do anything else? This is that point. As soon as you finish this case, before you talk to Rosalind, make sure that you have everything. Because she's the one she's the one that's giving the case. Uh, we're gonna start out and actually going back up to Paul's to Paul's cave, and we can take the ski lift to get there quicker. Because there are some secrets there that we are going to want. Or rather, we're going to want to get we we want to get these secrets. Don't know why that was so hard to say. So just right up on two ski lifts. Don't know why I couldn't have just gotten onto that one. I, I don't know. I don't know. Ski, I, I don't understand ski lifts. Like, what do they even do? What do they even do? What do ski lifts even do? Like, what is what is their high purpose in life? What are they trying to accomplish? Like, just like going for that GED or maybe like a bachelor's degree in business? I don't know, man. Ski lifts are uh, very, very independent thinkers. Got to, got to be careful for independent thinkers. I'm kidding. Be an independent thinker. Be a ski lift. Be a ski lift. Wolf, uh, what's up, buddy? Hey there, boy. I love Wolf. It's a lawn gnome. No, it's a coffee table gnome. Sorry, sorry. It's not, it's not a garden gnome. It's a coffee table gnome. No, you don't want to sit there. What's in this telescope? Largest amateur telescope I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah, I probably couldn't see my house. Anyways, you want to make sure... What does this say? Oh. Huh. Interesting. Alright, anyways, you want to check this bookcase because inside... There's a bunny costume. If you are a Sims fan, uh, th that costume is uh, of the social bunny. <laughs> P.W. Skis, what an active yeti. <laughs> what an active yeti, yes. Paul's got a large bed. That's that's true. That's very true. I never make my bed. And if you examine this chair, you get the model the carpenter used to make this recliner. You definitely want to come up here because you get an Easter egg from another game and you get a trophy. The only chance you have to get this trophy. <laughs> I'm so sad about the television being broken. I, honestly, I would be sad about the television being broken in real life. So it's very realistic to what I'd be. Anyways, I'm going to just go ahead and uh, cut away until I'm back at the lodge. 
All right, now that we're back here, let's go ahead and uh, see if Paul came down here. Indeed, he did, but there's two sets of footprints. One of them seems to be going to all the lodge equipment. But the other one just goes straight to the hot tub, which, unfortunately, is broken. And we never got the chance to to relax in it. Oh, well. We need to analyze this water to uh, find some trace evidence to see what happened. Alright, okay, we gotta start from scratch on this one, so I'm just gonna lay these out like that. Maybe go like that. Yeah, just go ahead and do that, and then with the blue things you can just go do that. It's, it's very simple. I found traces of fur. Yeti fur, to be exact. Paul's Yeti fur, to be overwhelmingly precise. <laughs> I love that phrasing. Okay, so we found evidence against Paul. But was it him? Was it this guy? Did he really do it? Found traces of Yeti fur in the hot tub. Oh, it's true. I used the hot tub last night. I love a hot, warm bath. We weren't hot tubbing here at the lodge. It, it, oh, it's so relaxing. Sometimes I sneak down at night to soak. But I didn't destroy the tub. I'll be honest, this doesn't look good for you, Paul. No, it does not. I mean, I like Paul. I don't want to see bad things happen to him. Oh, but these tracks do lead to the hot tub as well. What? I feel Patrick's mission, too. Ugh. All right, this will be a lot easier when we get more dispatch people. These tracks, however, keep going. And Vix is playing video games when he's supposed to help investigation, but he's not investigating anything. Where does the tracks go? There, but there we go. Buddy, did you just trip? I saw that. Don't think I didn't see that. You can't escape my watch, buddy. I'm always watching you. Yeah, the prince paws here. What's in here? A baseball bat. Well, I mean, the only reason for there to be a baseball bat would be from a gift shop. Zenova, do you know anything about this? Nova, do you recognize this bat? Of course, those are novelty baseball bats that we sell here to support our off-season minor league baseball team, the Yetis. Have you sold a bat like this to anyone recently? Hmm, not that I can recall, but we sell lots of these bats, so I imagine anyone could have found a spare one somewhere on the mountain. Anyone? I'll never find out who destroyed the hot tub. Oh, if they destroyed the hot tub, you can probably just review the security camera footage. What? You have a security camera? Yes, it's up on the roof. I had it installed by Secure Room last year, but they never taught me how to use it. Thanks, Nova, I'll check it out. So we can check out the, the video camera as well. Before we hit, follow those footprints, I'm definitely going to check out the video camera. Oh, come on. Z button, don't, don't fail me now. Don't fail me now. Oh, come on. That was graceful. I am a graceful swan. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and hack this video camera on super speed. Go, 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 oh, that doesn't change. Oh, come on, come on. Uh, uh, yeah, we did it. All right, everything looks normal. Everything looks good. Nothing. Nothing bad. Yeah. Oh, 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 no, it's destroyed. Oh, what's that? What's that? That was a Yeti, guys. That was a Yeti. That was definitely a Yeti. But it wasn't Paul. There's another Yeti, guys. We gotta figure out who this other Yeti is. Let's go ahead and follow these tracks since we already started doing that. And see where this other Yeti went. Because this is very suspicious. So he went this way. Okay. Seems about right. Went through this gate, okay, going up to the mountains like a yeti would do. That's what yetis do, they, they live in mountains. Uh, while I'm following these tracks, uh, I would like to take a second and uh, uh, thank you guys for sticking with me. Uh, I know it's been a long time and I haven't been able to like update you guys. A lot of you were wondering where I went and I got a lot. Alright, now we just gotta get into this cabin. Uh, I got a lot of positive feedback when I said that I was coming back. Uh, 
And that honestly felt a lot for me. In the, or, yeah, that felt a lot for me. Uh, I felt I felt really good. That meant a lot. Uh, knowing that even though it's been a while, you guys are still... Uh, Alright, so we need to figure out where this Yeti went. Uh, you guys are still interested in what I'm doing. And that honestly means a lot. This axe doesn't look like it's been used for a very long time. By the dust gathering on this on it, this axe is still extremely sharp. Well, if it hasn't been used much, I would assume it's still sharp. Hmm. Nothing there. Hmm. Anything here? Nope. Absolutely nothing in this cabin. Huh. Except hmm. this trap door. Let's go ahead and pry it open. Oh. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Good. All right. Let's go in now. Oh, nope. Stay, stay down. All right, what's well, back here? Yeah, d d don't don't venture in that. I'm just gonna stand in this cold water for the rest of the let's play. Never mind, that would be boring. Who wants to see that? And if you do, uh, we need to have a discussion about your uh, your video watching habits. What does this say? Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine if, like, icicles fell in here and, like, nobody knew... Okay, nobody knew I was out here, like... Well, they probably knew, like, I've been, in, like, investigating things, but... Like, they don't know, like, exactly where I am, and I'd just be, like, lost out here. Bags of concrete. Okay, when I first saw this, I thought it was, like, a dead yeti or something. Because doesn't it look like that? It's bags of concrete, but it looks like, like, a dead yeti. Kind of scary. Anything right here? I don't think there's anything, uh, like any collectibles in here that you'd miss. Just in case I'm gonna check around every little place. Yeah, can't get that way. Alright, just go ahead and come up here. Yeah, there's, there's, there's nothing here that, uh, will be, that will be bad if you miss. Come on, go back up. Come on out. There's a bunch of stuff in here. First, we have some bottled waters. Bottled waters. I yeah, I guess that's a that's a fine term for it. Bottle of water. Yeah, bottle of wa bottles of water, not bottled wa bottled waddles. Bottled waddles. Okay. Anyways, what's this? It's a yeti suit. Definitely was not a real yeti. Somebody dressed up like this. But who was it? Find out next time on Let's Play My Sims Agents.